Hey everyone! Good afternoon! I'm back! I'm back after a long vacation hiatus. But I'm super excited. So when you guys hop on, say hello. Tell me where you're coming from. Hey Taylor, I can see comments. Yes, finally. I went live um, for my team this morning and I could not see comments and it was driving me absolutely bananas. So I'm excited to be able to see some comments from you guys. So just tell me what you're up to. Tell me where you're coming from and we're going to get started. This is a combo that I have never done before. Um, I kind of feel like it is perfect for this time of year. I came home from Punta Cana and it was cold and rainy, okay? So I just feel like it's kind of fitting that we do a gorge, amazing, new combo, okay? Hey guys, hey everyone, hey Jennifer from North Carolina. Chrissy, I actually use a, um, it's, the brand is newer, N-E, is it N-E-W-W-E-R, I think? And it is off of Amazon, and it is legit amazing. Taylor, no, but I will be doing purples. I will, okay? <laughs> I promise. I actually have some purples up my sleeve. I have some multi-purpose quads coming up this week. So I've got stuff up my sleeve, guys, okay? After after a little a little downtime and some some vacay time, I've got some stuff for you. Hey, Julie. So I did majority of my stuff on my face. Hey, Stephanie, I'm back. Yeah, this is gonna be really, really pretty. So I have majority of the stuff on my face already good to go. And I got a fresh new bronzer, so I'm super excited. My other one I have used like down to like the bare skin and bones. Like you can legit see like the little ramekin that they put everything on. So fresh one, good to go. This is like my go-to for highlight and contour, but I wanted to show you guys something real quick that you can do with this palette. I did my brows with this palette. I am going to show you a little highlight and contour with this palette. So yes, <laughs> Sarah, you may need a new one. Not gonna lie. <laughs> I tried to make it last as long as I possibly could, but yeah. I think it I think it was time. It didn't come in time for my vacay, but it's still here. So I use this marvelous color for my brows. You can also take a little bit, a little bit. I'm talking a little bit, okay? A little bit on your brushy. And we can do a little bit of a contour, okay? So I did a little bit of my bronzing contour, but this is just gonna add a smidgen more depth, okay? Yes. Go treat yourself, Sarah. <laughs> Go treat yourself to a new one, okay? So these colors are super pigmented in these quads. So you only need like dip, 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 just a little dip, okay? And then you can go in there. One of the other colors that I have in the quad, and why is this not, why is it not staying down the way I want it to? Okay, this optimistic color has been my go-to. With traveling, I try to like um, consolidate my stuff so that I'm not taking a lot of like duplicate stuff. So I do a lot of like multi-purpose packing. This optimistic color should be in every single one of your quads, okay? This is my new favorite highlighter ever, ever, ever. Hey, Misty, can we talk about this real quick? Can we, can we, can we just, can we just look? Can we look at that? Yeah. So before we get into the eyes, I just wanted to show you guys this. Just having those two colors in your quad already give you multi-purpose. <gasps> boom, boom, boom. I got a lot tanner, girlfriend. <laughs> a lot tanner because we legit were out in the sun all day, every day. What you guys may not have seen from my vacation trips was <laughs> I had a little bit of a wild beach day for the sand volleyball day. Maybe a little, a little, a little too much vodka. Um, but I didn't protect my lips. 
So I woke up in the middle of the night and my lip was huge. <laughs> my lip was puffy and swollen and massively sunburned, okay? So it is right now on the healing process of it all. Um, but yeah, it looked like I went crazy town with my hottie lip plumper. Like my lower lip was big, big, big. I'll have to post pictures for you guys because unless you've seen it, you probably don't understand just how big my bottom lip was. And it, start, it started to kind of blister a little bit. So it's on, it's on the healing process. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, I am actually a lot tanner than I look. Maybe not so much my face just because I've been protecting it. Um, I made sure to, after that moment, I made sure to wear my hats, my visors, anything that I could just to protect, protect my skin, my face. So my face isn't necessarily as tan as the rest of my bod. But it was, hey Alexia, make sure to shut the door behind you. But yeah, lots and lots of sun. I did wear SPF 50 though, so you guys should be very, very proud of me. All right, let's do some eyes. I got my primer on and everything. And we are gonna do a nice fall lip color. It's my jam, not to mention you get free shipping when you add a lip product this month. So we've got what? Seven days left in the month, so you can still get get that lip in there for free shipping because I love me some free shipping. Anywho, anywho, anywho. You ready? Are we ready for this? I'm gonna, here, are we gonna scooch it, scooch it in? Oh my gosh, I, it was amazing. So, so amazing. I'm, I'm excited to be home, but I am still a little bit on the struggle bus just because I had to like make my own food and I had to make my own drinks and food actually costs money now. <laughs> if I want coffee, it costs money. If I want someone to make me something, it costs money. Um, yeah, it was a lot of fun, but I'm glad to be home. My bed was so welcoming and so comfy. Thank you, girl. I know, I've, I've missed doing this with all of you guys. So it felt good to be home, but it was, it was a much needed adult trip for sure. Alrighty, so here is the quad that we are going to be working with today. It's not often that I do greens, but I had this, this urge to just go wild and crazy today as like a welcome back. We're gonna go wild and crazy, but for now we're gonna start with this gingerly color. It's my pumpkin spice color is what I call it. It's just so beautiful and delish and everyone should own it, okay? If you don't ha have it yet, I know, Shay, it's gorgeous. I don't always do greens, but then every time that I do a green, I'm like, why did I not do a green? Well, why do I not do green more often? So every time I use it, it's always like an aha moment for me that I need to do more greens, and then I just forget about it, and go back to my comfort zone. Love my purples, love my pinks, love my browns. But greens are fun, okay? So we're going to, thank you, Misty. We had so much freaking fun. It was a blast and a half. But man, <laughs> coming back and having having children that need that need my help and need my love. Yeah. I was like a free soul for 6 days and now now I'm back to up and getting everyone on the bus and getting lunches packed and all that stuff. So it was a big adjustment. But I wouldn't trade it. I wouldn't trade it at all. Let's see. Mayo Man's here. Mayo Man's here awesome hey peeps if you are just tuning in we are having some fun with this beauty love it love it love it so I use a lot of these colors just not necessarily this green but we're just gonna go in there and we're just gonna do it 
And I'm actually taking my cream shadow brush just because it, it's like a nice like paddly brush that I can kind of get up there and just kind of pack it on the way I want it. You can even spritz. I'm big on spritzing my brushes with um, setting spray. If you don't own a setting spray, <laughs> you are missing out on some major chances to utilize it. And this is one of them, okay? Love it. Thank you, Brittany. I'm back, baby. I am back. Hey, everyone. Did you miss me? Was it quiet without, without lives? Quiet without the lives, quiet without the Halloween looks. It's just, it's probably just been really, really quiet without me. You may have wanted to strangle me with all my beach, all my beach pictures though. <laughs> Look how gorgeous that is. Amazing. And then we're gonna kick it up a notch with some of that dark brown. Same dark brown that I used on my brows. We're gonna use that in that crease too. Okay, I'm digging this. I'm digging this green. I know, see, this is, it's like I have amnesia every time. Every time I do greens, I forget how much, how much I loved it the last time and I just don't use them. Look at that green. <laughs> don't apologize. I know, we, we busted our booty for it, but still. I know people back home were probably like, for the love of God. I get it. You're on the beat. <laughs> but I just, I just can't. Hey, Jenna. Hey, babes. Okay, I am just using my pants to clean off my crease brush. Just because it had some purple on it. We don't want purple in this. We want to use this marvelous matte dark brown. Setting spray is going to hold your makeup in place. It's going to keep it from moving. It's gonna make it last all day long. When I put setting spray on my brushes though, it helps intensify the pigmentation. It helps give like a nice like foily effect. So see how like it just looks like there's like a thin layer of just like green foil on there. Like it doesn't look powdery. It just looks, it just gives it like a little extra oomph. That's what it does. Thank you, Joy. Thank you. And I saw that I you sent me a private message. So once once I get done on here, I will I will get back to you. You wanted to see more, Christina? That's funny. Okay, so now we're going to add some boom shakalaka right to this outer corner and some of that crease. Okay, add some drama. And you could easily make this like a super, super dramatic look. Yeah, I've been like, <laughs> this morning, it's like, I know I really need to get back to people on my messages, but my house is a disaster. I gotta get the laundry going. Gotta make sure I get my, my customers' packages out that came in. So it's just been, it's been a whirlwind of a morning. So bear with me, peeps. But all that matters is that I'm back. We're just gonna kinda halo it over because we can always go back and add more of that green once we get, once we get this in place. Oh yeah. And then you can even go over top. Oh, stop. <laughs> yes, that is exactly it. You need a vacation from the vacation. Like I sound, <laughs> I feel like that's very greedy of me to ask, but I really need a vacation from the vacation. So I'm just gonna touch up some of this green. Um, The first flight back was awesome. Um, we somehow managed to get sky priority on Delta. So we had like the extra leg room and it was amazing. So that was like the, the four hour jaunt of like our, our leg back. 
So that was really, really nice. I slept half of it. I played games half of it. It was just, it was good. I watched some Property Brothers for half of it. Um, so we did that. And then the second flight from Atlanta to Cincinnati got pushed back and then pushed back. <laughs> and so we got home like two hour, two and a half hours later than we were supposed to. It was late. I was tired. I was grumpy. Um, my belly hasn't been adjusting well to like being back to like normal, like American food. So it's just been, it was crazy, but I was just excited to be home. So they weren't horrible flights, but, um, I slept most of the Atlanta to CVG flight too. Okay. So can't complain. Can't complain at all. Oh, stop. My husband. So now that same color that I highlighted my cheekbone with, we are going to brush that right up under the brow. Okay. <laughs> Stop. I'm sure you guys can hear my hubby. I think he fell in love with me all over again this weekend. <laughs> Isn't it, Shay? It is gorge. It really is gorge. And in a couple days, I'm going to be like, what? I can't pull off green. Like, I'll go back into my, my amnesia stage. And every time, I love green, like, liners and stuff. So I don't know why I, I am so quick to forget that I love green eyeshadow, too. So I'm actually taking some of our some of our green liner just to kind of pull in some of that and then I'll actually dip the other side of the liner shader brush and get some of that green down here too maybe even some of the brown while I'm at it just to kind of smoke it out be fluid in the foreground oh my goodness yeah you never you never know with with airlines this was more so Mother Nature, though, because the whole East Coast had, like, a bunch of, like, rainstorms, I think it was. Um, so that's kind of what the flight that we were, or the air, the airplane itself that we were supposed to be on for that connecting flight, it was delayed because of, um, because of weather. And then I know our flight itself, we had to take a different route from Punta Cana to Atlanta just because they were trying to like avoid the thunderstorms and stuff. So I think it was just a domino effect like all day long, them trying to avoid the thunderstorms. Stop, Jer. <gasps> Goodness. So for you guys that are just hopping on, don't worry. I'm going to do the other eye for you too. So you're gonna be able to see exactly what I did, okay? Don't you worry, don't you fret. I am going to show you guys on the other side, okay? And in case you're wondering right now, I am doing my favorite lash combo ever. You take the Epic as your gel, take the fibers from the 3D, and then you go back in with the Epic. You can even go back in with the 3D transplant and gel, so whatever you want. But I like the Epic. I like the Epic and combo with the gel. Okay. That's just like my faves. My fave, fave, fave. Okay. So this quad that we're using, we did brows. We highlighted our cheek. We contoured a little bit. Okay. I'm gonna show you some multi-purpose quads this week because if you're gonna be traveling or you're going out of town for the holidays, you are going to want to downsize and be able to maximize what you're bringing with you. And that just, looking over here, just made me realize that I didn't even put on my blush. Thanks, Brittany. Thank you. They're super grown out already. Super, super, super grown out. So these little shimmery blushers, what do you, they're 
They're the limited edition ones. They are just so awesome. I love them. These are my favorite blushes ever. So if you haven't tried them, love, love, love it. Um, is that what it's called? <laughs> this is actually the first time that I've used it. So, um, I think it is. Let me pop it out real quick. And Yes, inconceivable. Yes. So here, let me show you guys the quad again. Zoop. The brown is marvelous. Marvelous, darling. Marvelous. So we've got gingerly, inconceivable, marvelous, and optimistic. Beautiful colors together that honestly I probably wouldn't have put together if I didn't think that you guys needed something wild and crazy for my first day back to you guys. So there is that. Um, now, for those of you guys that are just tuning in, late to the party, and want to see how this all went down, we are going to, we're gonna do it on this side, okay? Thank you, Joy. I don't know. I don't know. I just, I just, I don't know. I just don't think that I like green and then I, I do like green and then I don't and it's just this wild and crazy train. I gravitate towards my comfort zone, which is my pinks, my purples, my neutrals, but I'm digging. Totally digging it. And I don't know why Jeremy's not commenting more. He's just whistling in the background, really. He keeps whistling at me. And saying, so hot, want to touch the hiney. That's what he's saying in the background. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Let's do this again for you guys. Starting with gingerly, we are going to use this delicious caramel, pumpkin y, spicy deliciousness right here as our transition. Thank you, Penny. Thank you very much, baby. See? Good things come when you step outside your comfort zone, right? All right, all right, all right. I know. See, my lives actually keep me accountable to try new combos because I'm like, they don't want to see the same exact look that I just did yesterday. Like, it, it keeps me keeping it fresh for you guys because I have to think outside the box a little bit to give you something a little different. So yeah. Beautiful. Yes, yes, yes. For a while, I was thinking that like, with all the Halloween looks that I did, that I wasn't possibly, go I wasn't gonna remember how to do normal makeup again, but apparently it's just like riding a bike and I didn't, I didn't lose it. What, babe? I love, you. I love you. So happy to be home to live that little stinker butt. He's so funny. I heard him wrestling around in his bed this morning and I was like, Gravy, come cuddle me. And he's like, you're home? I was like, yes. So he came in and he laid right on top of me and gave me a big old smooch. I just loved it. Just wanted to bottle it up. He's such a pistol, but he's so darn cute when he wants to be. Such a lover. All right. And again, I am using my cream shadow brush for this, okay? I sprayed it with some of my setting spray just to really give that foily effect, okay? I want it to be like a thin layer of delicious green leprechaun -y magic, okay? So it just gives a nice smooth finish. Yeah, that would. I actually thought about wearing my camo earrings for this live today, but I decided just to be basic Betty with my, my gold and my top knots and double shot shirt. Okay, we're just gonna bring it up a little. Okay, so there is that. Gingerly first as your transition up above the crease, just as like a nice soft blend to transition everything. Hey, Nicole, congrats on hitting pink, babe, with plenty of time to spare. 
So if you're not pushing for blue, I'm just gonna say you cry cry. You might as well. Hey, Jenny. Hey, babe. All right, so there is that so far. And then just by adding that little bit of this dark color right here with my cream or my crease brush, it takes it up a completely different level. It adds that boom shakalaka right out here. It gives you that depth. Hey, Monica. Hey, girly. It just changes up the entire look. And I know a lot of people are like, can you like try to like explain this whole transition color for me? So I say transition because it helps transition the lights to the darks, but notice how behind this dark that I just put there, you're still seeing some of that warmth popping through. That's what you want. So it's not like green, brown, no color. Like you want it to kind of just smoothly transition. So see how you're seeing some of that, that warmth still behind there? That's what I'm talking about when I'm saying a transition color. So it's like that very first color that you're putting on that's kind of just softening everything as you're building the look and like piecing the entire puzzle together, okay? So hopefully that makes a little bit more sense. Honestly, Monica, brushes make all the difference in the world, I swear. And once I started like being very like particular about the brushes that I use, especially my fluffy eye brushes, like I am a brush hoarder and the fluffier the better. I don't use a lot of like really compact brushes um, other than like the cream shadow and the crease brush, but fluffy is my jam. Fluffy is my BFF. So you can never have too many fluffy brushes. Even Morphe, Morphe brushes are like my, my like favorites just because they're inexpensive and there's so many different shapes and sizes that I can kind of go a little bit crazy. And I just buy them a la carte. You can buy like um, actual like sets and stuff, but I just buy them like certain ones that I really, really like. And I'm hoping that Unique Corporate, if you're listening, give me more fluffy crease brushes so I don't have to cheat on you guys. And please give me all the fluffy brushes. Um, we ha now have this blending brush, which is, amazing um but it's i need more i need i need i need all different shapes and sizes okay so if you're if you're hearing me people please give me give me them all monica if you need help picking which morphe brushes you need let me know because i own i own a decent amount of different shapes and sizes so okay now we are taking this gorgeous optimistic color, which you can't even tell, it doesn't even do it justice, but it's like a delicious vanilla. We used it right here, okay? And we're just taking a little bit and dusting it right up underneath that brow. Okay, soups, delish, okay? And I'm actually going to go back in and smoke it out even more. Cause I feel like the other side is smoked more. Yeah, girl, I can give you all of my favorite numbers <laughs> cause they go by numbers. So a lot of people are like, what do I, where do I even begin? But, oh yeah. Okay. Let's touch up some of this green a little bit. Blend it out. This one in particular is one of my go-tos, M433. I can pretty much use this for any color, but this is usually my transition color brush. It's probably, it's usually the very, very, very first brush that I bust out when I'm doing any, any kind of look. So yeah, M433. That's a great starting point. Thank you, Kristen. <laughs> Thank you. I love you. 
I'm just over here doing my thing. <laughs> I just love what I do. And that's, I don't do anything different. I just am very passionate about what I do and the confidence that this whole, this whole gig has given me. Okay, green liner. That's awesome. Way to go. Go girlfriend, go girlfriend. Now stick with it. Stick with it. It's all about consistency, okay? If you keep starting and stopping, it's gonna be hard to get that, that train going, okay? You gotta keep it going. Those little daily things every single day are what mean the most. And I just tight lined a little bit with some black liner, okay? In case you're wondering what I was doing. And you know what? We may even just pop a little bit of that optimistic right here in the inner corner. Jenny, you can and you will. Stick with it, I'm telling you. It's not all gonna happen overnight. And it, sometimes it takes longer for some people than others. So don't compare, just keep eyes on your lane. Don't look at the drivers in the other lanes. Don't look at other people in other parking lots and other, other highways. Eyes on your own lane. You focus on you and your team. That is it. You can use what other people are doing as motivation and fuel for your fire. But the second you start comparing yourself and getting discouraged because of it, that's when you gotta, you gotta reel yourself back in. You can only use it as motivation to push you harder. Second you start letting it fester and like infiltrate your entire mindset, that's when things go wrong. I don't want that. All right, once we finish up this coat, then we're gonna show you guys the new fall lip color, okay? This color is fall perfection. It is everything that fall could be and is in a lip color. Are you ready? So I already exfoliated my lips because as I told you guys earlier, my, <laughs> my lip got burnt and now it's blistering and so it is healing. Hey Angie, thank you, thank you. Oh my goodness, thank you. You're right, Shay, it would be really good for Christmas. Even throw some like, ooh, that might be another fun one to try. Instead of like the Marvelous on the outside, throw some Fervent in there, like that berry color. Oh yeah, for sure. Okay, here is the new must-have lip color for fall. Okay. Metallic. Matte and delicious. And if you've tried mattes before and you're like, heck no, can't do it, dries my lips out, you've never tried, you've never tried this. Boom. Look at that lip color. How amazing is that? I mean, with the eyes, the lips, it's perfection. Start doing makeup for special events. Seems See? See? You just got to try different things to find your niche. And you found it, April. You found it. Message me and I will help you because I do a lot of one-on-ones um, -on -ones in home makeup, makeup makeovers and stuff. So I can help you. Um, I can help you with some of like the most popular shades and like ways that you can kind of mix and match. I'll show you. I'll show you my tricks at the trade. Um, what are some daily things to do? I just got a selfie light. Go live daily. Post daily and consistently. Not just about not just about the business, but also about your life. Post about your life, your family, things that you love, your hobbies, your things that make you passionate. 
but also about what it is that you do. Um, make new friends. We're in the business of making friends. So always be building your network, whether it's when you're out and about running to Starbucks. Make friends everywhere that you go. Just have conversations with people and just share your love of everything. So there's lots of things that you can do, but um, just if your mouth is open, your business is open, okay? You just gotta talk to everyone. Alexia, this is called Sneaky. Sneaky, sneaky. Yes, Shay, sneaky. I will, girlfriend. <laughs> Monica, it's just practice. You just gotta play around with it and just start doing it. Watch YouTube videos. Just, just get out there and play. Um, I promise you, once you start playing around with some brushes, some, some fluffy brushes, you will love it. And you will have a way easier time with blending and just getting a good look that you really, really like. That's when my look started, like, they went to the next level when I started actually using good brushes. Like when I bought my first Morphe brushes, I feel like that's when my makeup game went from like here to like up here. And it's just kind of increasingly. Thank you, Angie. Thank you, Brittany. Nikki on my eyes. We've got this Gorge combo here. We also use this on my brows. We highlighted my cheeks with this. Okay, and then on my lips, We've got sneaky. So by adding in that lip color, you're getting free shipping, free shipping, free, free, free shipping. Yeah. Any lip product on your order, you get free shipping. So yeah, that is all I have for you today, ladies. I am super excited to be back with you guys. This is our gorgeous, 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 gorgeousness. Um, other than that, I love you guys. If you liked what you saw today, if this provided value in your life, in your makeup routine, feel free to click the little share button and share it with your people. I love you guys and I will talk to you later.